I wouldn't say not happy. I just said kind of confused. You know, it's it's the first time since I was actually traded to Portland and, and came off the bench two or three games for them that I actually came off the bench. And, you know, try to figure it out. It's a new experience for me. Uh, like I said, we're still trying to figure out other team, uh, something different, but uh, it worked. So, you know, maybe it's something that, that we can go with. It seemed like your approach, your style was the same as everything. Yeah, it's always. You know, I only know how to play one way, and you know that's uh, 110 percent. And when I got out on the court tonight, I was able to do that. Uh, I got to prepare for more coming off the bench. Back typed up getting in there. You know, it's kind of a lot different coming off the bench. But other than that, you know, it was, it was a fun experience. For me. One thing Brad said was that he thought that if you play with Jared and uh, Warren, that it would open up the lanes for you a little more. Does it look like that? Uh, sure. it, it kind of does, and you know it gives us more opportunities to run up down the court. You know those guys are, are more going to the basket. They like to play with their back to the basket, and uh, you know they run they run the court uh, pretty well, and they're also great passers. So you know playing with those two guys are, are always fun. What did Brad tell you when he told you they were that you were going to come off the bench? You come off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. You know, uh, he said he's going to try join at the point guard and see how that goes and. You know, come off the bench, uh, you know, try to bring some energy. Uh, you know, play with the second unit with Kelly and uh, Sully, and, you know, uh, hopefully uh, things work out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, A.B. Bradley was saying he didn't know your nickname. You told him your nickname tonight? Yeah, all of them Brandon asked me what was my nickname. That's surprising. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's, that's very surprising. <laughs> I wasn't there for the pregame interview, but it sounded like you were really surprised at the decision. Uh, do you feel like the, maybe the communication is a little off? I think so. The time, I, I think my main thing is just you know trying to figure out where I fit in in my role in my situation. Um, but I think I pretty much know that now. Uh, move forward um, and, and continue to play and do my role. I think you know. Coming off the bench, especially for me this late in my career, is pretty good. I don't think I can average 30, 40, 45 minutes anymore. I think those days are gone. Um, but, you know, coming in, playing a hard 25 minutes is just good for me. Um, I'm able to help my teammates out. I play pretty good with the second unit. And, uh, you know, it helps our team out a whole lot, bringing the energy off the bench. Does it change the way you play, or is it just? No, nah, you can't change the way I play. <laughs> I'm going to play that way if, if I'm at home playing against my kids. So, I mean, that's just the way I play. Crash into your kids a lot? Yeah, oh. a whole lot. If you have a better idea of your role, would you say that you're happy with it? Hmm? Say you would, you, you would say that? I think so. I mean, you can't be mad after tonight's result. We, we got our first win with it, so, you know, it's something that we love. I think the whole shocking part about it was it's, it's kind of new for me. Uh, this is my 13th season, other than, you know, being on the bench my first three years in Sacramento. Uh, I've always been a starter. You know, I've, I bust my butt to be a starter, try to be uh, productive in that first starting unit. And this is the first year, you know, I have to go off the bench. So it's a new process. It's, it's always new. Uh, it's, always, it's often confusing when, when something's new is thrown at you in the start. But, you know, who knows? This might be the best thing for my career. What do you think of Kelly Atlantic tonight? I think Kelly played pretty good. Um, you know, uh, he was down on himself. He missed some shots that he, he felt like he should have made. But like I told him, you know, this is the NBA. You got 80 more games or, or 75 more games to worry about that. You know, just continue to play the way you're playing. I think his energy level was high. He hit the glass. You know, uh, him running the floor and uh, posting up. And, you know, he's pretty good out, out on the perimeter and passing the ball. You made comments earlier about selfishness in the team. Do you feel like you saw a big change in that tonight? I think so. I think the ball moved pretty good. Uh, I, I think. The biggest problem tonight was getting off to that sluggish start. Uh, we got down 16 to three, and I think it wasn't because of selfishness. I think it was just sluggish. We came out with our feet in the concrete. They came out running. Uh, you know, our second unit was able to get us back going. You know, we moved the ball. The defense turned up. I think they scored nine or ten points in the second quarter. So obviously, you know, our defense stepped up and, and, and got us back in the game and got us a lead, and we were able to, to keep going from there. Gerald, has anyone told you about the role of the sixth man here in Boston and just the history behind it? And uh, does that interest you at all, at that role? I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Nobody's ever told me about that. It's a big deal in Boston. It was, 
Yeah. It's the adventure of the six man there. I like the seventh man, man though. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sully, Sully was the first one off the bench. I'm the seventh. <laughs> It's a whole different mindset. I mean, it's a whole different mindset. I, I, it, it totally is. I, I can honestly say that this is this totally different mindset than, than uh, coming off the bench and starting. I, I was telling the guys, you know, usually on starters, you know, you take that first minute to two and a half minutes in the game to kind of warm up, loose, get going and everything. Coming off the bench, as soon as you step on the court, the game is already at 100 miles an hour. So, you know, you're jumping right into the fire right then and it's going. And it's totally different. You have to prepare differently for that. You've had nights where you were doing a lot of the scoring, then nights where you weren't even taking any shots. Are you just, is that based on just how the game is playing out, or do you have like kind of a set game plan going into it? It's based on whatever the team needs me to do. You know, if they need me to score 30, I ain't going to say I'm going to score 30, but I, I, I try my <laughs> best to try to score 30. If they need me to just, you know, try to lock down the other team's best defender, then that's what I do. You know, I'm, I'm here for the team, and whatever the team needs me to do to win is, is what I'll do.